I have to say something as a public service announcement. So, I was online, and sorry for your noises, I'm moving some stuff around because I have to actually run, so I'm changing uh, some stuff. So, there is this trailer, and it actually looks good, and I was going to do possibly a reaction trailer to it, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Now, it looks great. It reminds me of the uh, old cartoons. So, if you uh, YouTube it and check it out, it actually looks really good. Uh, I, I made a comment when Marvel posted it, and I said something along the effects of, if they stick to the plan like how Spider-Verse did, then... Um, it should be good. Or something like that, right? And you can see it. My Instagram name handle has, you know, my name on it. I barely use it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. In saying this, I responded to someone who said that if you call this woke, pop, 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 pop. And I was like, that's not what that means. The thing they were saying, it, it didn't mean that. So, this apparently started a powder keg. Of where people are trying to say things to me, and they're wrong. Um, like, for example, I, I'm i like, no, there's a word meaning for that. Basically, people need to get their political views out of there. Because there's people like, well, that word's only used by these certain bigots or something, right? Alright, so anyone who's listening to this video, the history of the word woke did not start with Donald Trump. And a couple people were like, oh, it's with the maggots and the MAGA hats. And I'm like, no, it's not. Learn your history. See, when I see words become very trendy, like simp and, and woke and all them, I go back and I start to look into the history of the words. You would be shocked how many words that are used in language today um, have actually been around for a very long time so the original term of woke actually came from african americans and it uh started with uh about talking about racial injustice now uh and around the time of black panther the first one and a little bit before that if people weren't paying attention and this is what i mean by people need to get out their political way everyone needs to understand this whether you're liberal, conservative, whether you're left-leaning, right-leaning, they're terrible. They all don't care about you. They care about their pockets and their agendas so they can make themselves more rich. When people start getting that through their thick skulls and think beyond their faces, that's when you'll start to realize how stupid a lot of this stuff is. Eggs shouldn't be costing $8 right now, but people go, that's Biden's fault. Well, it's actually the economy's fault on the sense of what's going on with Russia and stuff like that. However, could they do things with, since they're signing trillion dollar contracts, could they put some of that money back into the America and maybe give people stimuluses and stuff or raise everyone's pay since all the inflation is up? Of course they could. Are they going to? Probably not. So... As I'm talking to these people, I, I like mention She-Hulk, for example. And I go, She-Hulk is what would be considered woke because they attack the fan base. My whole thing is this. When the word woke is used properly, not by someone who is a bigot or something like that, because there are people who do use it, but just like there are people who try to weaponize um, like transgender things. And they try to weaponize the LGBTQ community and misrepresent them. And it's still just as vicious. At the end of the day, when somebody does something woke, it's about the messaging, what they're, the message they're doing. And I was using the example of She-Hulk because with that messaging, they were attacking males. They were attacking YouTubers. They were attacking these people. And at first, the person, like one person came to me and was like, no, they weren't. I'm 200% sure. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, go look at any interview or any recent interview with Tatiana Mislani or the director. They openly talk about it. I was like, you can even read it. And there are people in there that like what I said because that's true. They did a show to try to troll fans because they were mad because Marvel's upset that the, not all the fans love everything they do like they did before. So when someone, when something is woke, 
it's talking about the representation, the messaging behind it, and are they attacking? So I'm going to give a more recent example. Velma had racial stereotypes. It was taking on every time she turned around, you heard them say something about white people and white males that do this specifically. And then it was demeaning. It took the one significant white character and then completely tried to demean him by making him the butt of every joke. By saying like he has white male rage and he has a little, you know, dong and stuff like that. That is woke because the intention, you already took the core of the characters and changed them. Those characters are not anything like what they're supposed to be. There's no, when, if I show someone the character Norval, they're not going to go, oh, okay, I can see Shaggy. Even Namor, for the changes that Marvel did, people, like my, like my dad goes, I, is that Namor? I can't tell because he looks very different because my dad grew up reading comics. But he's like, but I saw the Speedo, I saw this. It kind of looks like Namor. And then I explained to him what the whole thing about Namor was and why they did what they did and why it was actually a political move and all that, but he is. But he was still enough, he, my dad saw enough that he was recognizable. When you look at these characters, they are not, they are completely unrecognizable. They are original IP that got slapped on. Why? There is no Scooby-Doo. Um, there is a bunch of things that aren't there. But yet, she's constantly making references to racial stereotypes and playing into them. And they're trying to make it seem like a joke, but it happens so much that it actually isn't a joke. It becomes inconsistent. So, like I said, it's the messaging what you're producing, and the intent. Uh, I'll give you another example. Disney, when it comes to uh, Star Wars, right? Now, they're sitting there saying, we're all inclusive, we're all this, we're all that. So I'm going to use Star Wars as an example. They send the poster over to China. They practically erase the black character because Chinese people do not associate with that. If they were actually being inclusive and diverse, like they said they were, they would have said, well, you either deal with this or no. They also cut out the lesbian kids. That's not representation. Their intent is to tell you they're doing something so you could be appeased while their real intent is about making money and they actually don't care about these social injustice issues. And there are so many people who sit there and just champion for Disney and these companies and you will look at their actions and point these actions out like, yo, but look at this. This is a forced message. This is this. And people are like, well, that's because you you voted for Trump and you're a bigot and blah, 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 blah. You're istophobe. And it's like, are you serious? Are you actually listening or paying attention to what they're saying? Because they're giving you examples. Now, there are people out there who just use it and say, black lead character, woke. I'm not talking about those people. Every Every word, every subject is going to have their bad apples. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is... When I used Velma, right? So then I'm going to use the uh, an example of something that's inclusive and diverse and the messaging was properly done. And you can see the posters and things and they did not try to erase the character. Like Disney has, look at the Black Panther China poster. If you need a, a quick exhibit, you just Google that. Spider-Verse has a mixed character who is coming of age and is uplifted. A very strong female lead. Very strong parents that are of a mixed descent, and both of them are good people. His father is a police officer. His mother, you can tell, cares, and she, she takes care of everything, makes sure her son is okay. They they had uh, May Parker with the robot. Like, they had this diverse cast, right? And all of the diverse cast were uplifted. They were able to use this, and it was great. That's why that movie is considered inclusion and diverse. They didn't sit there and go, oh, yo, you know what, Peter Parker, you're a straight white male, so you trash. No, they treated Peter Parker as the hero that he is, and he actually needed Miles' help in, in, a, in a, a different type of way to uplift him, to make him remember who he's supposed to be. Miles inspired him. They inspired each other. He gave him confidence. He gave him the belief that he could be better. That he's still Spider-Man. That's called inclusion and diversity. That's real representation. 
They didn't sit there and try to cut people down. And people need to start getting this through their heads. Stop with your political goggles. Remove that garbage. It comes down to this. When somebody uses a word, if you immediately associate them with this thing, you're not listening. And that is the biggest problem in today's society. People are so busy being on social media that they are not listening to what someone is saying. Before you make a decision on where a person stands, instead of immediately making an assumption because they complained about comic books or they're complaining about this or you're trying to educate them about what a word means, instead, listen to what they're saying, see what examples they're putting up, and then come to your own conclusion. There are people who I have seen that I can flat out say, yeah, you're not, your intention on this is basically is not a straight white male or it's not a male lead or something like that. There are people that do that. Just like, it's funny. People will say that and be like, oh, well, they're angry about this. Okay, I seen a recent interview, or I think it was a few months ago, where they asked some of the new Game of Thrones women, and they all said the exact same thing when they said, what would you change or add to the show and do this? And they all said the same thing, less men. That's a, that's a, gender, that's a, that's a gender messed up statement. That's a woke statement, because that's not an improvement. Taking, see, at the end of the day, here's what people need to understand. Inclusion and diversity means everybody has a seat at the table, okay? When you don't, when you take something and you remove it or you say, well, yes, we want this, but no males allowed in this, or we want this, but no straight people or no gay people or no this and no that. As soon as you start to exclude someone simply because the color of their skin, their, who they decide to let, lay in bed with, who they decide to do anything with. When you take surface level things and decide that, that that means they should not be there. This also is about those people who are talking about Wednesday and saying that someone is bad because Wednesday had a black villain or a black bully. So what you're actually saying, you think you're you're being you think you're being there because people used to be like, stay woke, yo. That was a black thing. They was like, yeah, I'm woke. And then it changed. Words evolve. When you sit there and you say something like that and you think it's a good statement, what you're actually saying is black people aren't good enough to be villains. They're not good enough to play certain types of roles. They're only good enough in this one particular box. And that in itself is wrong. People, if you, you need to start listening and stop assuming and labeling or be so quick to label people because you don't agree with what they said. You can agree, not agree with someone, but understand that it's coming from a place that's not always evil. Basically, everybody needs to grow up. They need to go back to what they used to listen to, <clears throat> learn how to listen, learn how to register what they're looking at, and then make a conclusion. So, <clears throat> I was going to make a video on Wednesday. I was going to make a video on Moon Girl. I decided to combine it. This is the Geek Protagonist. You stay safe, you stay healthy, you stay real. And I will see you.